Hi, my name is Michael. Today we're going to take a look at the WaveTech 27 XT multimeter. This is a meter I've had for several years and it's come in quite handy. It measures voltage, resistance, and current, also capacitance and inductance and frequency. If we open it up, you'll see on the back of the enclosure there's a piezo speaker and also some EMC shielding. Now to connect that speaker to the meter, you'll see that they've used three springs sticking out of the PC board. That's actually kind of a neat idea. It probably saves them labor time, avoids having to solder wire on. At the very top there, you also see the processor used for the device. And the soldering's quite neat. There's a daughter card stuck on the main board. And at the very bottom, you see the two fuses and the 10 amp current shunt is that brown looking wire there. Now, just a word of warning, if you're opening up your meter, look out for these two silver bearings. They're sandwiched between the front face plate and this dial they're located on two spring-filled holes on this dial. Now the reason we're opening up this meter is because it was damaged during some high current work. Unfortunately the fuse didn't blow so we knew that something on the board was damaged. I started tracing the input from the high current probe lead and here you can see the input on the meter. Now that shaft there is actually split and that's how the meter can tell where you've connected your probe and it can warn you if you're using the wrong input. The problem was quite obvious once you got a look at the PC board. You can see that this trace was burnt. This trace was actually located after the fuse, but fortunately for us, none of the components after this trace were damaged. After cleaning up the trace and repairing it, I put the meter back together and tested it using a resistor and a battery and found that everything worked fine. So thanks for watching this video.